Greetings and salutations. This is Big J Triple X. Now, before I get to the meat and the crux of this video, um, I would like for you to check out my video entitled uh, Big J Triple X versus Sandman. Uh, Korean women is finished. Um, and there's a reason why I'm, uh, I'm making that video that video a part of this video i'm mentioning it because i'm trying to draw a thread but i'll let y'all figure out at the end of the video hopefully hopefully y'all y'all figure it out i remember a video a tv show rather named bones now i ain't know that i see that show Every night, not every night, but over the weekends, I see it come on TV. And there was an episode, and I wish it was on you YouTube, but check the links for it if it is in the description box. But the episode was called The Don't in the Do, where in the episode where there was a murderer who well one of the salon um barbers or whatever the case may be the people who do the hair right the, uh, the beautician was murdered he's one of the famous beauticians in the washington dc area and and he he got murked by seemingly another beautician out of some type of jealousy because you know but anyway that poor somehow the guy got killed because um they put antifreeze they they uh and use it as a shampoo and because of antifreeze you know the guy the, the person who they murdered they murked um was breathing in the ethylene black law which is the chemical name the you know the chemical active ingredient rather in antifreeze but anyway back to but anyway none of that but there was a scene in on that tv show where where they was doing an, an interrogation and one of the suspects was sitting there who was a who was sitting there next to a, a blonde-headed woman a blonde-headed white woman and it was comedic because they because they said, well, well, wait a minute. It has to be a beautician because you was one of the guys who was a beautician. So who poured uh, uh, antifreeze in the shampoo? And the lawyer who was the, the suspect's uh, client was so frantic about it because she attended the same hair salon. That she pulled out extensions out of her hair in fear that she might got uh, poisoned. And that was a, a touching scene because you saw a blonde headed Caucasian woman pulling out extensions and weave and draw it on the table and ran out the room. And this is why I got to make this video because a lot of you Negroes are dumb. That's right. Because y'all make video after video after video after video. Trashing the African-American woman. Y'all make video after video after video. And then y'all, then y'all, the same group of individuals, y'all sit here and say, oh, you know, man, I'm going to the other groups of women. To the other groups of women. Because the black woman wear heat, wear weave in her hair. This is to you SYSBM dudes like, like, uh, your boy SKC, 
to your SYSBM dudes like uh, uh, Pablo Frescovar. This is to people like your Ossidians, your Manosphereans, like Ossidians and your BGS, uh, B, uh, BGS's Igmores of the world and your Angry Mans of the world and your Edward Andersons out there. Because the thing is, y'all's talking points is unfounded. Y'all's talking points is based on the argument based upon the superficial rather than addressing what's going on. It's something similar like what Chris Rock tried to do when he, he, when he was on the Oprah Winfrey channel just back in the late 90s, early 2000s. When Chris Rock tried to bring out that movie about black women or hair weave and how black women and, and, and here is and here is the best talking point well i'm using best in quotations here is y'all's best talk talking points is that how black women will buy two hundred dollars of hair weave and only spend fifty dollars to buy their children food and clothing for Section 8. Why at the same time, y'all will never talk about those single daddies that, that, that produce those children and how come he won't use the court system or the political system or whatever system to attain so that he can feed and clothe those children he helped uh, those prodigy that he helped pro procreate. See, and every time when y'all make, make make these make these videos, y'all keep shooting yourselves in the foot. Y'all keep opening up your mouth, and, and then y'all wonder why people don't take you Negro seriously. The reason why they don't take y'all seriously is because, uh, for one, your facts aren't facts. Your facts, rather. <clears throat> Your facts is based upon your own emotions. A fact doesn't care about feelings. A fact only serves itself. Truth only serves itself. And facts and truth are concrete feelings is fleeting feelings can change based on based on the person that's going through um drawn through the emotions so i wish y'all stop using this weave hair weave argument because the thing is it shows how small-minded, idiotic, and actually not benefiting between you and the and, and the black women that y'all claim y'all trying to hope to get right. My name is Big J Triple X. And as for the thread, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. You see, I'm gonna do another video after this and we're going to talk about and this and now since i've got on black men you women are about to get checked too that's right that's coming up in my next video you women are about to get it too because the way i see it both of y'all are on this both sides of the same coin and um and yeah yeah so um so spare me hair weave, spare me long nails. Um, this is about male nature. Male nature, female nature is just female nature. You cannot, and I repeat, I don't care what race, what religion, you know, what sexual orientation. I, I don't care if you own 
one side of the Atlantic or not. I don't care if you're Mason or Elk or Jew, Gentile, Christian, Muslim, yada, yada, yada. There's one thing, though, a lot of y'all in the manosphere, SYSBM, and Red Full Space, you try to use, try to hide behind the race issue. You try to mix race into gender politics. Um, you can't change female nature. You cannot change male nature. And that's the point. So happy Mother's Day to a lot of the women who gave birth to, to some of us, who sac made sacrifices for some of us all, uh, over here. And yes, and that's one reason why I'm doing this video because of mother, because it's Mother's Day or post Mother's Day by the, by the, when I upload this video. But again, y'all cursing your own mamas on here, and for what? See, let me lean in for this because I, I thought I was going to end this video, but let me lean in for this. You know, some of y'all who get on YouTube like Edward Anderson or whoever the case may, may be, y'all don't complain about women based upon how y'all interact with your mothers. Y'all single mo mo mothers. While, while though y'all never talk about your, some of y'all's fathers because some of your fathers was trying to force, <clears throat> since though y'all, you know, trying to force your, your mama to abort you. That's right. Some of these women chose to have you while they, while you're some of y'all's fathers out here who, who created y'all, y'all sperm donors, who y'all call fathers, tried to abandon y'all or tried to talk or force your mothers into aborting you. But she didn't. And I'm pro-choice saying that. So I, su I suggest that y'all be mindful with the SEB trying to shame, blame, and explain black women because your mama, because um, some of your mamas did, did the best that they could for your black behind. And no, I'm not here to simp. The thing is, what y'all is, y'all actually destroying the potential of the next, the next two generations with y'all's rhetoric. And that's why I'm coming hard against the black manosphere and the SYSBM community and also the divestor, the pink pill, and whatever case on the women's side. That's what I'm about to do. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. My next video, we're going to talk about what if black men have white men's or Asian men's power is a topic that I said on D Day Torches live stream over the weekend. So look out for that. It's about to come up after this. Like, share, subscribe. Big J is out.